As part of our ongoing series on poetry analysis, here's Uncle Polly discussing the famous French poem, The Crow and the Fox. Hey, how you doing? I'm Polly Gentoli. I'm gonna talk about Le Corbeau et Le Renard, that is The Crow and the Fox. It's a famous French poem. I learned it when I was in high school in uh, French 5, right? Uh, except I wasn't supposed to be in French 5. It was a computer error. I'm supposed to be in French 4, and really, I should have been in French 3 because uh, my French wasn't that good. But uh, there I am, and I figure for extra credit, I'm going to do this poem, uh, Le Corbeau et Le Renard, and so I did. And uh, I'm not going to do a line-by-line -line translation of the poem. I'm just going to tell you what happens in it and what it's about. So there's this crow, right? And he's got a piece of cheese in his beak, okay? And uh, this fox comes along, and he can smell the cheese. And he's like, hey, I smell that cheese. So he goes up to the crow, and he's like, hey, Mr. Crow, look at you. You got a cheese, right? And he says, um, oh, I ain't never seen a crow like you before. You are one beautiful-looking crow, right? And he says, uh, you know, if, you're, if your voice is half as beautiful as your feathers and the, you know, the plumage, then you're like the Dion Warwick of crows, right? So what do you think? And the crow is like, you're goddamn right. And when he says that, the cheese drops out of his beak and it uh, falls on the ground. And boom, the fox, he scarps it up. And he's like, hey, you stupid crow. I got your friggin' cheese, okay? What do you think about that? And the crow's like, you son of a bitch. But the fox is like, no, 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 you're learning a lesson here, right? I'm teaching you about uh, not listening to every fox that comes along and tries to butter you up, right? And so because I have generously taught you this lesson and uh, not just falling for whatever, um, I deserve this cheese, right? It's my cheese now. And the crow is like, I know where you live, fox. Okay, well, that's not really in the poem. But, you know, he's a crow, and he can fly because he's got the feathers, right? So he probably, probably follows this fox back to his den, his little fox den, where he can watch him sleeping. And then uh, and he can be like, I'm going to watch you, fox. And when you're sleeping, that's what I'm going to strike. I'm going to pick your brains out. And then who's going to be laughing now, fox? Who's laughing now? Anyway, so there you have it. That's the, uh, the, the corbeau. And the Renard, the Crow and the Fox, very famous French poem. And the lesson is, don't listen to some jerk off who comes up to you and is like, you're beautiful. He's full of shit. You're welcome.